Road travel is absolutely essential for the small business community. It's just, we can't live without it. The biggest challenge we face as a business is that Kent is a peninsula where we're surrounded on three sides by water. So our catchment area in terms of clients and, and business um, activity is restricted. The Thames at the moment is a barrier which has to be crossed. Sometimes we're viewed a bit sort of out on a limb, a bit of an island and separate and remote from London and Essex. Once the new crossing is open, our members are going to be able to plan with much more certainty, which will open up much more opportunities for them. Some of the things that we do differently as a result of the Lower Thames crossing uh, being put in place will be us being able to work better with some of our colleagues uh, in South Essex, particularly the colleges and universities that exist in South Essex. When the LTC does open, the first thing we're going to do is spend a lot more money on marketing towards Essex and further afield. What the Lower Thames crossing will do is give us extra resilience in the strategic road network. For me personally, it's giving young people an opportunity in the construction industry to come and work with us because we want to grow, but we can't do that without getting the right people. If the Lower Thames Crossing didn't go ahead, it would just be a great opportunity lost and it would stifle economic growth in the country more broadly. Once the Lower Thames Crossing is open, I think it'll mean that there's a new raft of possibilities for them. It could be supply chains, it could be storage, it could be new customers or new staff. But it's having that easy access that's really important for small businesses to really grow and thrive. That's what we're looking forward to.